Hi everyone, today I'm gonna do a get ready with me to go out. Okay, first of all, let me fix the lighting. It is a little bit dark. So I never go out. I actually love staying home, but tonight we are going out of our comfort zones and we're gonna go out tonight. So I kind of have some like makeup on right now, so I'm gonna take it all off and redo it. Usually when I like to go out at night, I like to put more makeup on just so like, I feel like usually I wear like no makeup during the day. So it's like a natural look. At night I'll probably wear like darker makeup, especially for my eyes. I don't know what I want to do yet for my makeup look. I got some new makeup too, so I'm excited to use that. Now that I took everything off, I am just going to put some moisturizer on. Well, <laughs> my moisturizer is aloe. I literally use this every single day and I don't use any other moisturizer because my skin got so used to this that when I try using other moisturizers, I start breaking out and this is just like my favorite thing to put on my face. It feels so nice and smooth and I swear it helps all my breakouts. Every time I do my makeup now, I pull back my front pieces because they get in the way so much. I don't really know what I want to do with my hair yet. I kind of like how it's looking right now. I might just leave it natural tonight. So we're gonna see, I don't know yet. So usually what I would use during the day is the Super Goop Glow Screen. So for nighttime I use the Laura Mercier, I don't know if I said that right, the Tinted Moisturizer. And I really like this a lot because I don't really like foundation. It's just like too coverage for me. But this, when you rub it on your face, it's very sheer. And I like it a lot because it helps everything like stick to my face, like bronzer and blush. And it helps like smooth out your skin tone. Now that that's all blended out, I think I'm just gonna take like a beauty blender just to make sure it's all blended out. Yeah, it's definitely not all blended out. Fun fact, if my eyebrows look a little bit darker than usual, it's because they are. <laughs> I no longer really have to fill them in anymore because when I went to go get my hair dyed, my hairdresser was like, you should dye your eyebrows. So I was like, okay, I trust you. And she did. And they're a little bit darker now. And I kind of like the way they look. Like I barely have to fill them in anymore. So that's why they look a little darker than usual. We're first going to start with the bronzer. I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown one. This is my favorite ever. It's so nice. Oh wow, you can see my whole vanity through this. It's my favorite brush, it's so fluffy. Look at that, I'm already tan. I tried tanning today, but I don't think I really got any sun to be honest because it was so hot outside. I ended up going in after an hour, like I literally couldn't handle it anymore. It's like 100 degrees out. It's so hard to tan during the summer because it gets so hot outside. Now that I'm super bronzy, we're gonna add some blush. To make it look like I got a sun-kissed look, I used the Anastasia one and I literally just put like, I think I put way too, <laughs> I think I put way too much, but as a little brush, we're gonna brush it out. I love blush because it makes you look so pink and rosy and I love looking sunburned, like that's so bad to say, <laughs> but I love looking sunburned. I also love this stick a lot. I usually only use powdery things, but once I bought this, I literally fell in love with it. I love like the stick. I think we're good on blush. We don't need any more. Literally, I've never noticed, but I still use my brushes literally from middle school. <laughs> and this is like a unicorn one. And I've always used it in videos and I didn't realize that it was literally like a unicorn brush and <laughs> I still have it till this day. I definitely need to get new brushes for sure. Can't be bringing this unicorn brush to college. I forgot to tell you guys that this highlighter is from this Tarte palette. I've had this forever. And this is like my go-to highlighter and I like to put it underneath my eyebrows and right here so you look glowy. I kind of stopped doing that thing where you put it in between the middle of your eyes. I don't know. I feel like it was just a little too bright on me. I think I'm going to take the bronzer from this palette, this one right here, and just put it on my eye creases. Because I don't really know if I want to do a full eyeshadow look right now or just like a bronzy look on my eyes. One hack that I love to do when I go out, I'll show you guys. I love putting eyeliner like right at the edge right here where your eyelashes are because once you put mascara on, it looks so much more filled in right there. So I'm gonna do that right now. Well, my favorite eyeliner I just figured out is dried out. So we are just gonna use this little pencil one I found. I'm gonna try showing this on camera. 
but you basically just draw a little line right there so it kind of looks like a wing almost see how much darker it is so i did it on both eyes and i'm just gonna leave it like that it's kind of like almost like half eyeliner but you'll see it all comes together when i put mascara on which i'm gonna do i think right now i think that's it for eyes i really don't know what else i could do i don't want to add any more eyeshadow i think i'm good depending on how much of this mascara i'm gonna use i might use this one too so this one's my favorite one total temptation waterproof and then the telescopic this is also waterproof i just feel like waterproof stays so much better than any other kinds i don't know and now apply mascara Sometimes when I try to apply mascara, it just doesn't go how I want it to. Does that ever happen to you guys? Like, I'm having a really bad mascara day. Now I'm going to do the other side. The lashes are looking a little scary right now. My eyelashes are so clumpy, so I'm going to brush them out a little bit. I'm just going to take this mascara. Maybe this will fix it. Recently, my eyes have been so sensitive whenever I wear mascara, so I try to wear it less as possible, but right now, I put a lot on and my eyes are kind of burning, but it's okay. Which is so weird because I've always used these mascaras and they've never had like a problem with my eyes, but my eyes just got super sensitive for some reason ever since I had pink eye, so. I forgot to do my eyebrows. This is my favorite part. I love gelling them back. I just have the e.l.f. one. I almost bought the Anastasia one today, but I still have this one, so I'm just going to use this one. And it's just a clear gel, and I like how they keep my brows in place. It is actually so nice. And I love that I don't have to fill in my eyebrows now. <laughs> so I am literally like done with this makeup look, except for the lips. Now, today I went shopping, and I got the Kylie like lip gloss. I also got the Tarte Lip Plumper, and these two are really pretty. I don't know which one I want to wear yet, so we're going to try them out. Here's the Kylie one. This one looks really shimmery and I've always wanted to try out her glosses because they look so pretty. Okay, that smells so good. Super sparkly. I'm pretty sure the way she wears them is she'll put like lipstick on first and then she'll put like lip gloss, but I just like the lip gloss look. This is so shiny and pretty. I love it. And of course, I'm breaking out right next to my lip, but this is so pretty. I don't know which one I want to wear. So we're going to try out the other one too. Now let's try the Tarte one. I've seen these everywhere. Look how cool this is. So when you take this off, you basically like push this up and it clicks and it like comes up more. And I'm just going to apply it. Mmm. This is so pretty. I like the color. Like, is this a lip gloss or like what is this? This is so nice. I love it. Okay. Since I have this on already, I think I'm just going to leave this on and I don't really feel like the lip plumper part of it yet. Maybe it needs to like settle in, but this is the finished makeup look and I think I'm just going to leave my hair because I'm a little lazy and I think it's like fine. It's kind of curly, kind of, yeah. So my hair doesn't get any frizzier. I'm going to put the bond smoother in it from Olaplex. This is my favorite thing to use in my hair because not only does it smell so good, but it makes my hair so smooth and it keeps the frizz away, which I love, especially when it's so humid outside during the summer. I'm going to pick out the jewelry first because I'm not going to wear the shell necklace out. I'm going to wear something a little bit more fancy. Whenever I go out, I love wearing these hoops and they're kind of big, but I love like the chunky silver and I got them off of Amazon and then this next necklace, I love wearing this. I got this off of Shein. I think I've showed you guys before in one of my hauls, but I love the pearls on this. I feel like it's so classy. So this is what the necklace looks like. I love this one so much. I love like the layered look of it. Now let's change my hoops. We're done with the hair, makeup, and jewelry, but now I have to pick out the outfit, which is the most stressful part, but I definitely know I want to wear this shirt out. It's from Princess Polly. Really cute, and I love the scrunch in the front. I just need to pick the jeans and everything else to go with it. So I'm going through my jeans right now. I think I might wear my favorite pair. Usually when I go out, I like to wear darker things, but tonight I'm really feeling this look, and I think I want to top it off with a brown belt to kind of make it look a little like 
I don't know. I just, I feel like I want to go for a different look tonight. I almost want to say this is going to look country because of this belt, but we're going to try on that outfit and see what it looks like. Here's the outfit on, and I actually love this together, and I love this belt so much. It's so different from just like a plain black belt, and I really like this together, and I think this is the final look. So for the shoes... I don't like to be taller than everybody else I'm around with, so I'm probably just gonna wear my Vans, like my high top Vans. I would usually wanna wear my Converse, like the boot ones, but they make me way taller. And I'm 5'7", and that's not too tall, but then when I put them on, I'm like 5'9", so. Well, I'm done getting ready, and thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, and let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more videos like this, and what other videos you'd like to see. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Bye.